Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Traps again and I got a new update video for you guys. Uh, you might have seen my last video where I set up a new Traps Aquarium where I where I was taking you guys through the whole process of setting up the actual aquarium and the suitable hatchery on top of the aquarium on top of the surface sorry um, as you can see i also got a bag of spirulina algae powder on the right um, we're gonna um, take a closer look at how to feed the little triops babies which are called nopli uh, triops nopli and uh, i will also explain a little bit more about how you can actually see if your trials have eaten something it's a really important step because in the first several days trials are definitely definitely going to look for some food if they don't get the food they might starve to death so um, it's definitely important to do uh, some research on how you can feed your triops. Um, we actually got some videos on the YouTube channel as well uh, where I'm explaining how you can do some spirulina algae, uh, algae powder uh, feeding uh, in little steps as well. But I'm just going to do a short uh, recap on that right now. Um, but first I will try to explain some things. So uh, we're going to take a closer look at the triops monopoly that are currently in this hatchery over here. So we're going to take a look. Let's see if we can spot some of them. Let's see guys. Give me one second because I first need... Oh, we already have one traps that we can take a look at. As you can see, we got a little tiny little traps over here. This is a juvenile triops. It passed the several metanoplier stages already. Let's say the larva stages. If you want to know more about how triops babies or triops nopolis develop, you can find another video on my channel where I'm uh, talking about the metanoplier development of triops because they will pass through several stages in the beginning. Unfortunately, I was a little bit too late with uh, making a little update video for you guys. So what you're seeing right now now are basically triops that already passed these four stages. In the four stages you will see first see several tiny little orange dots beeping around, then you will see some white dots beeping around, and in the end you will actually see some triops that are able uh, to walk, swim around freely and coordinate it. Their first movement kind of looks uh, really coordinated um, they are just swimming around uh, dancing around a little bit and uh, now they are actually moving around uh, no, kind of knowing what they are doing so that's a difference um, in the first several days you might be able uh, to see the traps swimming around mostly near the surface but some new uh, traps keepers will actually get kind of scared when they return to their hatchery and they don't see these white dots swimming around anymore so they usually think that most of the triops actually have died, but this is usually not the case. Your triops have moved to a different part of the hatchery, which is the bottom of their little uh, hatchery. And basically what they are doing now, they are trying to uh, look around for food on the bottom of the hatchery. And uh, that's what we are basically looking at right now. You can see some triops wandering, wandering around, looking for food. And they're going to try to attach themselves to some objects where there might be growing some stuff for them, on for them to feed on. Um, that's basically also the reason why I include some sticks, some detritus and some other stuff for them. Because usually there will actually grow some microalgae and other micro life on these sticks and uh, detritus that the traps are able to feed off. So basically these sticks become tiny little grazing grounds. As you can see we got two traps already over here. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see them. I guess you guys can. Um, here is another triops. Um, and there is something you might notice on this triops. And that's actually a part of the next subject. So once you're trying to feed your triops, you actually want to know if they have been uh, eating well or not. Uh, the case is, if you can see a triops like this one, you will notice there is like a little tiny black line in the middle of the triops. This is, these are basically the intestines of a triops, and um, if this tiny black little line is showing up, that means they actually have been feeding. So I will just um, make a tiny little drawing for you guys. I already started, so I got this like this paper with a tiny triops on it. Let's say this is our baby traps. So 
um, as you saw just right now, uh, the drops is actually transparent, but there is a tiny black little line running through the drops, so you would be able to see a little tiny black line moving through your drops, just like this. If a triops is fully transparent, it usually means they haven't eaten yet. If they started eating, the food will actually enter the drops, and because they are transparent, you can see the food actually stacking up inside the drops till the end of the tail. And you can guess what happens over here at the bottom of your drops. You will actually start to see tiny poops coming from it, obviously. But that's not what we are going to look for. We're not going to look for these tiny poops. We're going to take a look at the triops. And we are going to try to spot this black line running across your triops body. This is basically meaning that it just ate some food and it's actually processing the food in this part right now. So if you see these tiny black lines running through your triops, it usually means that they just have eaten. So we're going to take a look at the hatchery again and we're going to try to spot the triops that actually has this tiny black line running through it as a little example let's see if we can spot one over here oh yeah there is another one do you see this guys i hope you guys are able to see it a little bit i'm trying to zoom in give me a second there it is do you see that little black line uh, swimming around that's a drops and it's full as well so this one just ate oh there we got another one excuse me guys I can't zoom properly on these guys they are so tiny oh here's another one okay you guys spot that black line running through the drops give me yes there it is that's the black line I was talking about. And with this triops you can also see some poop coming out. So that definitely means that this little triops has eaten already. So that's a good uh, sign. The triops are actually eating. And it also means that there is actually some food growing inside the hatchery. And that's basically what we want to know. Um, if you got, like, if you also want to take a look if there is anything forming, like any biofilm forming, that's also possible. I'm going to show you how to uh, spot uh, the um, the biofilm on your hatchery, because some people actually get scared about this part of the hobby as well. If you're going to take a look at the surface of your uh, hatchery, you will actually see some kind of oily substance. As you can see, do you, see, you guys see this? It looks like the water is extremely dirty, but this is actually some oily layer forming on top of the surface of your water, and this is called biofilm. Basically, it's a film made of biological stuff, containing all kinds of biological uh, stuff again, and basically your tribes will eat from this. So if tr please do not do not try to uh, disrupt the biofilm because the biofilm is actually forming food for your triops. Eventually they will get big enough and they will just start to break the biofilm in parts and eat from it as well. And um, it basically is just like a tiny little protective layer forming on top of your uh, on top of the surface of your hatchery. So what I'm just going to do is just leave this as is. I'm not going to try to remove the oily substance on the water because that's actually the food of our triops and it's making this um, little hatchery a little bit more healthy as well. You can see the egg ring has worked and um, some of the eggs have hatched and uh, you can it's maybe possible to spot oh yeah definitely able to spot give me a second I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit more here you can see actually the exits of the little eggs these little eggs over here they have some uh, holes in them these eggs have hatched actually so that's interesting to watch as well um, let's see if we can spot more triops in the hatchery I think I got like five or six tiny triops in here I'm actually quite happy with that and um, so we're just gonna continue on trying to keep these guys alive you actually might find one or two Napoli that didn't make it Please don't feel like bad about this. It's actually kind of usual and normal that if you're going to get like 12 Napoli that actually one 
between one and four will actually die. That's possible because it with keeping with tribes, it kind of just happens. Don't feel bad about this. It can happen. Just stick your uh, stick with your mind at the tribes that are still alive. If there are too many dying tribes, there might be something toxic inside your water or something else that has not been properly set up. But for now, I can definitely tell that this hatchery is completely healthy. The tiny tribes that are living it are living their best lives for sure because they are already eating. I haven't even gave them or didn't even give them some food yet. So they are com actually completely feeding on detritus and stuff that's actually growing inside this tiny hatchery right now. So that's some definitely some good news. But in case you don't have detritus, it might become a little bare and actually you will have to feed your tribes. So I will just take a short, tiny short period to kind of explain how I do this. I buy these bags of raw powder, spirulina algae powder. It's basically made for smoothies and all kinds of stuff for humans, but this product is actually safe for tribes as well. It's pure organic, it's pure organic product, so there are no, um, there's no stuff added to this. So it's a hundred percent base of uh, spirulina algae powder. And um, usually, what I do is I just take a pinch. With, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how this is called, but these wooden sticks, um, cocktail sticks, I'm not sure how it's called in English, but you get the point. I just take, oh, toothpick. Let's say a toothpick. So I'm just going to take a toothpick and just going to add a tiny bit, like a pinch of uh, uh, spirulina algae powder on top of it. And that's the amount what I'm going to feed to the tribes, Napoli. I never dunk in like a large crazy amount of spirulina algae powder because you're able to overfeed them or um, kind of make the water a lot dirtier than it already is. That's not what we're going to try. <clears throat> we just want to dose a tiny amount of spirulina algae powder for the tribes, Napoli, to survive on. So usually I just take a pinch with the toothpick and that's definitely enough. Um... If you want to see it a little bit more detailed, um, feel free to watch the video on how to feed your traps with spirulina algae powder. It's on my channel. You can find it uh, on the Jurassic Park Traps channel. Uh, next step, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to take a little look at the tank because there is also some stuff going on. Uh, I added new wood and uh, usually if you add new wood to an aquarium, you will see this white mold forming on top of the uh, wood. It doesn't look too great, but it's not deadly at all. So I'm just going to leave it over there. And if the traps are big enough to enter this, um, to enter the main tank, they will just usually, they will just usually gobble this stuff up because it's also a food source for them. Um, so I'm just going to leave it today. And um, I'm just going to take a look if they are going to feed on it very well. Um, and for the rest, I can also see some uh, algae. Uh, growing on the objects that I placed in there and that's also going to be an awesome food source for the tribes So that's basically it guys um, Basically, it's going to be a waiting game from now on um, I'm going to try to g uh, keep you guys updated on the progress of these tiny little uh, tribes Napoli and um, to make it a little bit more clear what kind of steps you have to go through uh, when you're keeping your tryups, because there are definitely a lot more steps to talk about and I will try to uh, update the videos as well. Um, for now, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these tiny tribes growing up, um, learning a little bit more about the black line running through your tryups. As you can see, we got one, um, it, we got one on the screen now. And this one has also a black little line running through it. So this one is fat as well. I'm just going to add a tiny pinch of spirulina algae powder. Because as far as I can see right now, most of the traps have been eating from the detritus. So it's not that necessary for me to actually supplement them with more uh, algae powder right now. I'm just going to do a tiny pinch just to be sure. And um, that's basically it, guys. So that's just the first look on uh, the baby traps not traps nobly and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to like the video and if you want to keep updated feel free to subscribe to the Jurassic park traps <coughs> youtube channel and if you want to help the channel out please feel free to um, turn on the notification bell as well the notification bell will just give you some like little pop-ups when i uploaded a new video again and i hope you guys enjoy that as well for now i wish you a great day and I hope to see you next time.